Fox News Alert, the founder of WikiLeaks, Julian Assange, now responding publicly for the very first time to the CIA report confirming that Russia hacked the DNC to influence the presidential election. He had said that it did not come from Russia. Welcome, everybody. Hour two now of America's Newsroom. I'm Martha McCallum. And I'm Bill Hemmer. Good morning. That growing rift over Russia kicking off a critical week in the presidential transition. Uh, big stuff here now. The CIA report pointed directly at Russian President Vladimir Putin, indicating he tried to sway the U.S. election away from Hillary Clinton. Now the WikiLeaks founder, Julian Assange, Assange, who um, transmitted or printed those emails, calls the Intel report nothing more than an embarrassing press release. Ed Henry, live on the story in Washington. Let's start there, Ed. Good morning to you. What is good Assange morning. saying about this so far? Today? Well, you know, look, this is a quite a controversial figure. Some call him a traitor. Some call him a patriot. He wants to fire back because that U.S. intelligence report last week suggested that the intelligence community has a high degree of confidence uh, that Russian military intelligence officials were able to take these uh, emails that had been hacked from the DNC and other Democratic officials like John Podesta and pass them on to Assange so that WikiLeaks could put them out there and influence the U.S. election. He fired back a moment ago in this audio press conference and said it's all nonsense. Watch. It does not have the structure of intelligence report. It does not have the structure of a presidential daily brief. Uh, it is, uh, frankly, uh, quite embarrassing, uh, I think, to the reputation of the U.S. intelligence services uh, to be putting out something that claims to be a report like that. Uh, this is uh, a press release. Uh, it is clearly designed for uh, political effect. Assange claiming once again that he received those emails, uh, the hacked emails from the DNC and John Podesta from individuals, but he insists they were not individuals with ties to foreign governments. So that debate goes on. Bill. Why is Team Trump blaming Democrats in part for the hacked emails then, Ed? Well, we see it from everyone from the pre president-elect himself on down insisting uh, that it was the DNC that did not have good defenses. Uh, and in fact, Donald Trump over the weekend tweeting this out saying, quote, gross neg negligence by the Democratic National Committee allowed hacking to take place. The Republican National Committee had strong defense. Uh, he's talking, of course, uh, about the, why was the Democratic side more vulnerable when there were hacks uh, or attempted hacks on both sides. And in fact, Ryan's Priebus, uh, the incoming White House chief of staff, went further on Fox News Sunday. No one thinks that Assange is a great guy. I can assure you of that. But I think the issue here is, yes, bad foreign actors, but it's also the DNC that, that has allowed itself to be hacked by about anyone in the world. And that is one of the reasons why this was such a big deal. Okay. And I don't think anyone's talking about I wanna it. Get in but Devin Nunes, a senior Republican, the chair of the House Intelligence Committee, uh, he's telling Team Trump to be wary. You can see that picture there of Hillary Clinton, the uh, infamous Russian reset. Nunes saying uh, that while it's great to try and have good relations uh, with Russia, at least the last two presidents, uh, Republican and Democrat, tried various forms of resets and it didn't work out. Yeah. Bill? Uh, physically, a reset <laughs> button. Ed Henry, thank you in Washington there. Thanks. More with Martha now.